Hello and welcome to this video from filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. I'm Chris the K. Link in the description on my website. This video is part of a series I hope you've been following along. And I apologize for the last video being uh, a little more advanced than most of the other videos. We're going to take things easy today. So we have it set up. Our keyboard controls all the players, but if we have separate game pads installed, we can have multiplayer where each player plays with a different game controller. But both our players look identical, which can get confusing if we're running around each other. Which one is me? I'm sure we've all done that in multiplayer games. Like, wait, which, which one's me? You need to make sure, like, so what do we do uh, in, in games? You know, you know, we'll do different colors. So let's go ahead and look at how we can change player colors. If I choose this player and I choose the sprite, I come over here to where it says visibility, and I can go down to modulate, and I can modulate his color. I can make him pink or red or I can make them yellow or green just by changing these bars here. Now we can do that manually. We can go to the map and do it manually, but we want to do it with code. Again, if you have multiple players and you have 10 different players, you want them each to get their own color automatically created with a script. And this is super easy to do. So real quick, let's go into our player script. So we got our player here. We'll click on our player. We'll go here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take our player sprite, which we already set to a variable called sprite. We're going to create another function here, function underscore ready. And what that does is this will run once when the player loads. And what we're going to do is we're going to say sprite dot modulate. And then we're going to say that we want it to be a color. So here we can set a color and we're going to say, you know what? dot, well, we can pick a color from here. So I can do red. Now, if I start my game, the players are red. If I do blue, capital blue, they can be blue. But we want individual ones. So what I think, we could set them completely random for each player. So what we can do here we can set specific ones for player one and player two and player three. But once you get to some point, you want them to be random. So to make things random, you have to make sure that you run the randomize function first. Otherwise, it won't really be random and you'll get the same things over and over again. Now that we have that, instead of saying color blue, or again, you just type in color dot, you can pick from all these different colors preset. You can also give individual values if you want to get a very specific color with hex colors or RGB colors. We're not going to get into that because you have plenty of options right here. We are going to randomize some colors using what's called HSV, but we use the color function here. So we can say color from this and then we're going to get a random number here. Don't worry too much about this. Randomize gives us random integer and then basically uh, we're dividing it by 12 and getting the remainder and then dividing that by 12 and we're getting that for this first little column here. Let's go ahead and now run our script. Our players each have their own color. I can press escape when I run it again they should get new colors. So we aren't setting specific colors and again you can set specific colors, specific colors for player one and player two but here each player gets a random color and you can tell the difference between them and that's awesome. So now that we have some color, let's go ahead and while we're at it, just to do something easy, let's choose our coin sprite. And without any code, we're just gonna go visibility modulation. Let's look at it. Let's give our coin, let's make it like a gold color, right? Maybe a little more orange color here. So now our little mono color game has some color to it. Our characters have their own color and again, we can add a hundred different players and they'll each, I mean, theoretically, since we're doing it randomly, some of them could end up getting the same color, especially if there's a hundred of them. But if you have a handful of players, they should all get unique colors. And now you have a multiplayer game. Let's add one more thing because this video would be really short if I didn't. Right now, our players don't collide with each other, which you may want. You may not want your players colliding with each other, but let's set it up so our players will collide with each other. If we come here and we go to their, uh, the player here and we go to collision right now, they are not set to collide with other players. If we click this mask, since they're on layer one now, oh, see, sometimes you will get the same color more than once. Uh, we will, our players now collide with each other. So you can stand on each other's heads if you want. Our game's looking pretty good if you ask me. And again, uh, we do have it set. If we fall off the edge here, oh, 
I thought we had it set so that if we fall off the edge, the map would restart. Ah, the line's there. Hmm. Did we find a bug in our game? Let's see. Let's troubleshoot this. Let's go to our map here. Let's look at it. We have this line here, which is uh, area 2D. If we come over here, go to inspector, we go to nodes, we'll go to signals. You can see out of bounds. And here it says, okay, check if it's in the players group, which our player should be in the player group. Let's go ahead and just add a print function here. We're gonna print test. So now when a player touches that, we should in our output console down here, I get the word test. So I'm gonna go ahead and run off there. I'll hit escape. We got test, so that's working. Let's put it past this function. Let's put it, oh, you know what? I see the problem right now. Somehow I must have deleted this at some point. Get tree dot reload current scene. Okay, that was our problem right there. I must have deleted that by accident at some point. There we go. Uh, so yeah, we've got some color in our simple little game here. If you go out of bounds, you're going to restart the map, obviously. Well, I'm still on the map here. Our camera isn't exactly lined up because we moved it when we lined it up with that player. What we can do is just go like this. There we go. That's a little bit better. Now again, we do occasionally get the same colors for both players. You could change that by doing something like this. In our players, we can say if player ID equals zero, then sprite modulate equals color. And we can say that player one is always, you know, this aqua blue color. And then we can say else or L if player ID equals one then sprite modulate equals color dot green. And you can do that for player two, three, four, and then you can say else, then give them a random color. So you can set the first five or 10 players to have set colors and after that they go random. Right now we'll set it to, to just check the first two. So let's go to our map and we'll create a few more players here. And here they're still gonna be looking like they're white because that's the default color. But let's go ahead and create a few more players here. And now when we start it up, the first two players will always be the same color and the, the third and fourth player would be random. Uh, let's go ahead and jump off the edge here. Oh, they're not being random. What did we do wrong? Player script. Let's go ahead and move our random function up here. So if, if player is zero, then aqua. If player is one, then that. Else, modulate random. Hmm. Oh, ah, uh, I know why. Uh, let's go players. Uh, we we didn't give them new IDs, right? So here we'll make this guy two and this guy three. Now, there we go. So again, this guy ended up accidentally being the same color as that guy, but it's random. So again, you can set solid uh, list of colors or you can set them to be random in a way. Anyway. Now I think the video has been long enough, hopefully easier than the multiplayer video. Again, that wasn't too complicated. You can always check the code I have online. Uh, I hope that you're enjoying these videos. I hope you continue to watch and I hope that you have a great day.